normal to stay in the system for like a year or so afterwards. Okay, so it's different to the osteitis pubis on the, the nail footballer. Okay, it's not like an inflammatory attachment. Yeah, it's a separation. Okay, rather than an inflammatory, even though you could argue and argue the same, but they're not the same. Yeah, an osteitis pubis is different to a pubic symphysis dysfunction. Now, um, it's, not, it's not really an area that we palpate very often, but if you were to palpate, have permission, heel of hand would come down to the pubic bone, and then with your thumbs, you can come right up onto the pubic bone. And if they are unlevel, if they are asymmetric, one is high, one is low, yeah, then this technique would work quite well. And if you are presented with anterior groin pain, you might find during pregnancy, you might find after pregnancy. If you are going to do this technique after, if you have a cesarean, probably wait a few months, yeah, three or four months, I would suggest. Uh, whereas if it's a natural birth, you probably do this technique within a few weeks, yeah, that sort of thing. As long as the pelvic floor is strong enough, okay, things like that, otherwise, you know, you, you could have a weakness there. Now, to do the technique is quite easy. I'll show you a couple of ways. Now, first of all, the idea is, is that the patient abducts, and ladies, you normally super strong, so abduct. So she is abducting. The idea of the abduction tells the <coughs> abductors to switch off through inhibition. And we normally do it 10 seconds, relax, push again. So the abductors are in a state of relaxation here. So from there, it's like an RI technique. And then we do it once more, push again. Now, once she's done it three times, a lot of horse riders will, will sort of like self-manipulate. They'll almost like squeeze their knee pop. Yeah, that sort of area. Let's try it on, you know. So my fist between her knees, and she's going to squeeze my fist pretty tight, tight, tight. Okay, so no release. And maybe only one or two of you will, will release, as in it'll make a noise. Hence the word shotgun technique. Okay, because it can sound very loud. It could be next door, like Clever could be treating. Yeah, and she could be doing it like, oh, what's that noise? Of a pop. Yeah, and then someone will say, oh, it's the shotgun technique for the senses. Okay, now if it doesn't really work on that one, it might not work. So I'll take the knees apart again. So the second way of doing it is after she's contracted, one hand on one side, one hand on the other side. Go to squeeze in, tight, tight. Oh, God. <laughs> and, then, and then it's a quick separation. But most of the time... That feels quite unpleasant. It is. It, <laughs> yeah, it is very no strange. <laughs> um, if it does go click, most patients, the hands tend to rush down towards the genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was really weird. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine in Ireland, he's got, he does a cycling group, and then after like 20 miles, he stops, everybody stops, and they all literally all line on their back with their knees bent, and then he literally puts his leg in between their knees like here, and then he says squeeze, and he said it's like a, like a little music show. Yeah, so a squeeze, pop. <laughs> yeah, weird. Okay, so it's maybe the narrow cycle, the seat, the rotation, I don't know. Yeah, but he does seem to stop, yeah, and he's even showed me the film of him doing it. Like, oh, that's so weird. Okay, but then that will be the technique. It could affect backs because if it's out in the front, it's out in the back. A friend of mine, he was with a bobsleigh team, uh, physio, Gordon, and uh, one of the bobsleigh guys, military guy, yeah, was having pubic pain. Yeah, and then the medic simply said, we'll stick a steroid in where the pain is, and he went, I'll give the steroid injection a miss. I'll see the physio, and the physio did a few corrections of his pelvis, like I've shown you, and he finished with the symphysis pubis one. Then retest the symptom, no symptoms. Okay, because the pubic is not sitting right, the adductor magnus, or well, probably not magnus, but maybe yeah. acrinius or longus. Yeah, it's not quite sitting right. Yeah, and you might find it's pretensioned, and that's maybe why it's giving you some symptoms. So the technique is very easy, taking these apart. Three times, normally 10 seconds. Technique one, try the fist if that works, all well and good. If it doesn't work, Hands either side, squeeze, and as they, as they squeeze in, don't let them overcome you because you've got no chance of separating. So as they go to squeeze, as you go to squeeze, bang! Yeah. Okay, so it's a quick separation. And again. Yeah, but it's not very nice. Okay? Yeah. The, first, yeah. the first one's alright. First one's alright. Yeah. So it's called the pubic synthesis MET. Can you have a go, please? Yeah, that'll be the last 